In this series, we're going to be learning Git by using GitHub to host our repository for us. If you're new to Git, this might sound a little confusing, so let's clear things up. Git is version control software that lets you make changes to your project quickly and easily. And this gives you the benefit of being able to roll back changes, branch off from your main code to develop without risking uh, messing everything up. Uh, it allows teams to all contribute to one project without getting tangled up in the code base uh, and possibly overwrite or lose someone else's changes. Now overall you should be using Git if you're serious about the project that you're working on. Now GitHub on the other hand is one of many hosted repository services. Your code will be hosted on their servers um, and this will allow any number of developers either on your team or if your uh, repository is public, which we'll talk about later, uh, it allow them to pull down changes uh, from the server, push up or oh, pull down the code from the server and push changes up. And GitHub makes this really easy, um, basically because you don't have to set the server up for yourself, which can be really tricky if you're just starting out. Uh, the benefit of GitHub is also what they call social coding. I spoke a little bit about that a moment ago. If you opt to open source your project, which is basically turning your project uh, or your project repository into a public repository, you'll expose your code to a lot of people. And this means that others can download, uh, they can use the code, they can contribute to your project with pull requests, which we'll learn about later. Um, and we'll be learning Git on the command line so you can get to grips with the fundamentals. And this isn't an advanced Git guide. We're not going to be covering everything at all, but you'll find this comfortable if you have no idea of what Git is or if you're very new to it. Uh, so this is a very much a beginner's course. So make sure you're signed up with GitHub first. At the time of recording, it is free to sign up as long as you're only hosting public repositories. Uh, if you want private repositories, you will have to pay. So that's all you need to follow the tutorial. Um, and after you've got to grips with the basics, you might want to use a different service like Bitbucket, which is free at the time of recording uh, to host private repositories. So let's go ahead and uh, create an open source project.